Went to France. I went to France. So this thing came out of nowhere, right? Get invited to go to France. Um, and, you know, I don't like the French. You know it. If you had to pick six things I don't like, the French would be four of them. And uh, so I got invited. They were doing a comedy fashion show. This fella, Kid Super. And at first they said Kid Super. I thought it was one of, you know, like a make-a-wish fella. So, you know, you suddenly get those, you know, they got that 40-year-old in a cape or something. And he's, you know, he wants to jump out of a window or whatever. And they won't let him because he's, you know, does he never, because he's, you know, he's mentally, he's really, you know, because the devil tickled him whenever he was being made or whatever. And he's not well. Um, but it wasn't, it was a, uh, it was a fashion show put on by this, um, fella Colm Delane. Make sure I get his name correctly. Colm Delane. Yes. And a real beautiful fella, man, a really kind, smart, neat guy. Um, and I'd had a friend, Aaron Levy, that was a uh, part of the John Elliott clothing brand. So I'd been around some clothing, fashion, high fashion. And I don't know much about fashion. You know that. I mean, look at me. There you go. And you know I don't. And, uh, you know, I got three pairs of pants. I wear one of them all the time. This is it. These little camo deals are paper thin, but they're nice from North Face. And I like them. Um... But anyway, we get invited to this thing, and it, they said it's going to be, I mean, you're wearing, I mean, some of the linen, this is just damn fresh silk. I mean, it's, you could smell a spider's asshole on it. You know, this shit is hot, hot off the eight arms, baby. You know what I'm saying? This shit is fresh. And um, and so, yeah, we, 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 we go. We First of all, we get to the airport, and they're taking us on a jet. I mean, this thing, Puma put us on a jet. And it's, uh, I mean, this thing was long. This thing had two bathrooms in it. And I pissed in both of them because, you know, that boy, if there's, I piss in it, you know what I'm saying? I'm pissing at each end of the yard, baby. And I'll let the devil do the laundry, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm pissing when I get in something. That's always who I've been. You know, as a child at night before I go to bed, I'd piss off each side of my bed and I'd piss around it. I'd stand on my bed and urinate around it just uh, to keep, you know, whatever bad stuff could come get me to keep it away. So we went there. Uh, who was there? Andrew Santino, um, Sal, uh, Mateo Lane, other comedians, uh, Stavros Halkios, um, Fari, and he's a French comedian, um, who else? Jeff Ross, a couple other comedians. Um, yeah, anyway, so we went out on the stage and we had to walk in a fashion and we had to uh, do the, you know, and do some material on stage. So that was part of it. And it was just wild, you know, like there, I mean, it, you know, I, I, this was the most nervous that I'd been to do comedy in a long time because for one, People are coming to judge, they judge clothing. I mean, this is like fancy people. This is like the fanciest people. Everybody has a blog. Everybody has a web page. Everybody has a lawyer. It's people like that. You know, uh, and so you get, it's like, I knew these people were going to be, are judgmental about clothes anyway. They're going to, they're, they're here to judge clothing all week. So if you throw in an outlier, like a, a comedian, who's coming in, who's not even part of their world. We're the easiest thing for them to hate on. Oh, I can hate on this guy. Oh, easy. Done. Comedian. Done. So I feel, I was like, oh, these MFers, man. And it was rich people, bro. And I don't like the rich, man. I've said it and you know it. And people say, well, man, you make money. And I, yeah, I do. But I'll never be rich. I'll never be fucking infected with that shit. That shit starts in your heart, son. So I'll never, I won't, I won't be like that. And I know because when I get around rich people, I don't like them. And I just felt that in there. Just that age old energy, man. 
And I know this is a judgmental play. People are judging fashion. People are here to be judged. So I know the easiest thing for some blogger, which is basically just a job where you are afraid to fucking fight. Uh, the easiest job for a blogger is to say, to point fingers at the outlier that comes in to say this is bad, right? Um, instead of, you know, saying this is good from all the, you know, bribes or whatever they get, I don't know, or in the, whatever their end goal is. But anyway, to say this bad. So I just knew going up against it was going to be tough, and it turned out uh, it was okay. And we did well, and, and um. Yeah, the kid's super clothing, you know, it's nice, neat stuff, and Colm, the guy who runs, it was very neat, Andrew Schultz was there, that was fun to get to spend time with him, um, it was great, man, that was exciting, um, I went for a walk, uh, I didn't try to do too much in France because I wasn't there long, and you get out in the streets and it's, you know, it's French. People are Frenching, you know, just fucking Frenching around, dog. But we got to go out at night. We went in. They had nice music at night. And just the whole experience was fancy. And it, it actually ended up being a good experience. Um, sometimes I carry old ideas into things. Uh, and so I got to kind of monitor that. Um, but my nerves are warnings for me. And they say, hey, this is what's up. Beware of this. And uh, and I'm glad that they're there. Those are instincts, too. Sometimes it's not nerves, it's instincts. And you got to really ask them, are you a nerve or are you an instinct? Tell me. And you got to figure it out. Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another. And you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.